Hey guys and welcome back to The Learning Droid and in this one guys we're going to be having a look at another bit I quite like which is a it's called a vertical chisel point guys or sometimes also called a shoe bit because we have our little shoe here it's also called a vertical chisel point guys because it's got the same sort of angled strike as a chisel if I hold it straight you'll see that the two tines are different lengths so that's the straight compared with the bottom of it and you can see that the two tines stick out a different distance the reason for this, this is guys when we use it we don't use it like this when we use it guys we use it in this sort of position so basically guys when we have our pen normally when we do pyrography guys we hold our pen with our two tines like that with our two connectors in that position with a vertical point guys you hold them like that, literally with the two tines, one on top of the other, and you use it like that, guys. A vertical chisel point is very useful, or vertical shoe point, because we've got a flat surface here for large area shading. We've got a little loop here, which is a bit like a detail point. We've got the heel here, which is very good for making slight curved indents. And all together, guys, it works really well. But it's a really easy piece to make. So what are you going to need? First off, you're going to need your wire. It can be any thickness, guys, just like with a detail point. Just depends on how thick you want your lines to be. In this case, guys, well, I've got about five, six centimetres worth. Yeah, about six centimetres worth. And you're going to need the same shaping pliers you had when we made our detail point. So, guys, as with a lot of these, we start off by finding a thick point on here. And you want it to be near the base, so you want quite a thick point in the centre. And then we bend it down, just like we did to make our square branding bit. Now guys, from there, we've got our nice thick square. What we're going to do is we're going to hold on to both tines at the same time like this is probably easiest for the camera see I'm holding each part each time and then all I'm going to do guys is pull the top time towards me and that gives us guys this sort of shape so you see we've got two times that are different lengths and it gives us this sort of spear shape this is twisted out slightly so all I'm going to do is take hold of it twist it in again now guys, how do we get our shoe shape? Well that's quite easy guys, from here, I'll take that out so you can see what I'm doing, from here guys, this one that's slightly ballooned out, one of them usually will, but it doesn't matter, the one that's lower down, the one that's lower down guys, we're going to pinch at a 45 degree angle, this pair of pliers won't do because they don't have any grip, take this, pinch at a 45 degree angle, and give it a little squeeze. It's hard to do this guys when I'm not in this position but I will do my best we pinched 45 degree angle give it a little squeeze so there we have the start of our shoe just need another little squeeze and then open it out a little bit so there we go guys we have our shoe and we have our heel at the back because these tines are a little bit close together for my machine, I need to open them out slightly. So I pinch a little bit up from the shoe. The reason I pinch a little bit up from the shoe, guys, is because I don't want to ruin the shape of the shoe when I'm burning. Then pinch, and as always, just pull the tines. And there we go, guys. There is our vertical chisel, or shoe bit. If this bit here isn't flat anymore, if this bit on the bottom, this line isn't flat anymore on the bottom, easy way to deal with that guys, take your needle nose pliers, slide them in, and squeeze. Easy as that. And there we go guys, it's flat on the bottom again. So there is our shoe bit, or our vertical chisel point. It's quite useful guys, it gives you a, a variety of different surfaces to use when you're shading. So you might enjoy this bit. 
So there's the vertical chisel point or the shoe bit guys. Nice and easy, nice and simple. And as with all these bits guys, you can adjust the size and the shape and things by changing the wire, changing the length of wire you have, changing how wide the middle bit is. If you want to do a really wide one guys, and I have got some really wide ones, then all you do is you bend 245 degrees or use a big pair of pliers to bend them around to get a big square at the bottom. Size of the square will determine the size of your bit. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you again next time.